Oy vey Izmir. Oy vey Izmir. Oy vey Izmir. I'm nailing it. It is 11-29-2023. I'm nailing it. I am nailing it today. I'm nailing it. Let's take a look at it. Because I'm nailing it. So, let's take a look at all of my trades for 11-29-2023. Let's take a look at it. 11-29. Nailed it. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Seven trades and I'm nailing all of them because I'm nailing it. I found this very interesting. Looking at the VIX, check this out, you guys. On the one day look back, you can see it had a support level here. It broke out, had this massive spike up, failed, failed the, failed the, I get, I'm getting discombobulated, you guys. Look, check, I mean, it's getting discombobulated. Had a, a big lead run up, hit that Fibonacci line of resistance, couldn't break that, got discombobulated, collapsed all the way back down to the previous Fibonacci. This green candle and this current green candle is literally at the Fibonacci. It gave it all up, literally, literally right there at the Fibonacci. Oh, they is Mia. That's bigly. That's a bigly discombobulation. And as you can see, I threw up this Fibonacci and I drew this wedge pattern. And um, yeah, it's literally right there in the wedge pattern. The VIX. Oh, they is Mia. But of course, my friends, being that this is my shtiklach, what do we have to do? We have to do the disclaimer, because this is my shtiklach. Disclaimer, this video presentation is for entertainment and educational purposes only. It is not investment advice. Consult your licensed, certified financial advisor, financial planner, stockbroker, register with the FINRA, SEC, and SIPIC for all of your investment and consultation advice. Always remember, past performance is no guarantee of future result, so therefore nothing here and discussed is etched in stone and subject to change of market forces and volatility. Thank you. So, back to Dash. Back to Dash. It's getting discombobulated. It cannot break out of this, this, this blue line of VWAP resistance. It's just, it's getting discombobulated. Dash is getting discombobulated today. Check this out, you guys. Check out the discombobulation of Dash. On the candle's high for the day, 96.99 is the high. That's a massive discombobulation from the high, 96.99. It got discombobulated. It's getting discombobulated bigly. It's discombobulating. Dash is discombobulating today. It's discombobulating bigly, bigly, my friends, bigly. It's discombobulated. Look at this. It's discombobulating. Breaking all levels. It's getting discombobulated. Oive is mere. What are we going to do? This might be the next line that's going to maybe bounce back. But it's really getting discombobulated today. It is discombobulating bigly, bigly. Let's see if this is a support line. Bigly, it's getting discombobulated, bigly. Sorry, Dash, today, today ain't your day. It ain't your day. You woke up on the right side of the bed. But you ended up on the wrong side of the bed. It ain't your day, Dash. It ain't your day. You are getting bigly discombobulated today. You are getting discombobulated bigly. Bigly, you're getting discombobulated. So, yeah. It was up bigly. Now it's only at that 20 cent range. Talk about a discombobulation, my friends. It's getting discombobulated all the way. All the way towards, like, oblivion. 
Oliveg is near. I know this looks all sloppy and stuff, but there is a there is a logic to my madness. Like, it's big leap. Look, it just broke it. It just broke it. It just broke that resistance. It just broke the support line. It just broke the support line. Now, now the previous support line is going to be the future resistance. You believe that? It's getting discombobulated. What if it breaks this again? Oy vey, Izmir. Can you imagine if it breaks this line? Oy vey, Izmir. It's going down Bigly, bigly, bigly. Wow, bigly, bigly. But I do see a Fibonacci line of support right here. Um, it's at twenty-five. Let's see what this is doing. It's got three minutes and change. Yeah, it's literally like right there. It's not doing much. It ain't doing much at all. It's not doing much at all. Well, there you have it, my friends. I had a fun day. I had a nice day. Things are being discombobulated. But, hey, it's not all a discombobulation. It is, it is starting to break out. It's at 35. Is the volume picking up? Not really. Not really. Let's see if there's any news. Seven minutes ago, DoorDash to offer on-demand delivery across U.S. for Best Buy products. Wow. Best Buy? That is bigly, my friends. So if you need a 50-inch screen television, you better hope your dasher's got enough room in his truck to move that, to move that 52-inch screen television. Come on, you guys. Can your local door dasher, like, deliver your refrigerator? I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. Does, does Best Buy sell refrigerators? I don't know. But I do know they do sell televisions, and they are bigly. So who knows, you guys? Who knows? Uh oh, starting starting to taper down. Volume is picking up, but I don't see much action. Let's look at the dome. Depth of market. Let's see here. One twelve. See, with the free version, you only get one, one buy and and one sell. I think if I pay. For the full version of like trading view, I think I will get more like data. But I think the free version only offers one buy and one sell and only like one indicator. So the free version is very, very limited. I don't think I'm gonna, you know, you know, pay for a subscription. Cause I have a, uh, well, you know, that's nor here nor there, whatever the hell that means. But yeah, you got the idea. Um, Dash is getting discombobulated. It's getting discombobulated. I don't know how this, you know, Best Buy is going to help. Um, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure I can pick up a 52-inch screen television from Best Buy on my bicycle. I'm not sure I can handle it. Yeah, it's it's breaking down. It's getting discombobulated. It's failing the VWAP. Yeah, it's probably going to break the uh, Fibonacci line right here. The red line is the Fibonacci line. It's probably going to break that too. It doesn't look like it has much legs. See, the volume is picking up. So it's going down on higher volume. So that's basically bearish. That's bearish sentiment right there. Unless it picks up. But is it going to pick up? Man, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm just a shtickluck guy. Yeah, it's getting discombobulated. Back up to 25. It's getting discombobulated. I wonder what the cues are doing. Wait, 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 wait. I think I see I see I think I see some movement. Do I see movement? 
How much time is left on the clock? Oh, four minutes. Yeah, okay. So a new candle just started. Let's see what the cubes are doing. Are you guys a Q fan? What is the cubes doing? Let's see the cubes, baby. Yeah, that's slop. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's getting discombobulated too. The cues are getting discombobulated. It's getting discombobulated. Yeah, the cues are getting discombobulated. Let's see what the uh, dome is doing. Oh, we got some bigly numbers. We got some bigly numbers, baby. We got some bigly numbers on the sell side. Bigly numbers on the sell side. Yeah, let's go back to dash because we love to be dashers. We love to be a dash. Oh, oh, it's a 40 cent. It's a bigly. It's a bigly. Should I take it for a ride real quickly? I don't know. I don't trust that VWAP line. It, it's been having a hard time breaking it the whole time. Yeah, it can't break that blue VWAP line. The odds of it breaking it are like very, very low. Yeah, I want to cut this video short. Yeah, I got to cut the video short. I got to cut this video short. I'm into it like 11 minutes. And um, yeah, it's up at 40 cent. Oh, they is me, you guys. What should we do? What should I do, you guys? What should I do? Should we let the clock run down? But yeah. DoorDash is making good offers. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? What do you guys think? Because I'm all out. Oh, it's a 42. It's a 42. Look, I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you learned something. I hope you found my shtiklach very funny, very entertaining. I hope you found this video fun. Because it's all about technical analysis, man. And, um, yeah. Catch you later. Uh oh, it's starting to break. It's starting to break. Oh, there's Mia. Starting to break. Let me take a look at it one more time before I say bye bye. Because this thing makes me. Ve uh oh, here it is. That might be the support line right there. That might be the uh, EMA trigger line. This might be it. It might have legs. I think it got legs. I think it got legs. So, yeah, I think it got legs. I think it got legs. I think it got legs. Maybe. Probably not. Maybe. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to pause right here. Because I'm running out of time on the clock. I'm, lim I'm limited to 15 minutes. And, um, yeah, I'll be back. Soon, and I'll say I nailed it. You know, it will be eight for eight for today. I think this got legs. I think it's gonna break out. I think it's gonna break that VWAP line. Back in a few, my friends. Back in a few. So yeah, Tacos just closed his short position for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I think that's like eight for eight right now. Eight for eight on the day. I'm nailing it, baby. I'm nailing everything. Getting close to getting triggered. Come on, Dash. You can do it. Come on, baby. Gotta see the breakout. I'm getting discombobulated. Oh, it's getting discombobulated. So, just got triggered. And let's take a look at it. Because I nailed it. That was a tough battle. Wow. Nine for nine. Nine for nine today, my friends. Nine trades. Nailed all nine trades. All nine trades were a winner today. I'm nine for nine today. All winners, baby. All winners. Because that's how I flow. 
All right, my friends. Catch you later.